things are just looking very doomed for Dom Juan. If they don't win the Ocean Drake fight, which I'm pretty sure that they're going to opt into, Abilios will only have his first core item completed by then. Mystic probably going to be very close to even a second core item completion. Let's see as he ends up recalling. There's a lot of gold inside of him, yeah. Ends up having the zeal. And the thing is, is the Azir also, he went lost chapter as a second item after the Nasher's Tooth, and that's such a very bizarre choice of future itemization, because if this game does go beyond the Ocean Dragon, if something catastrophic doesn't end up happening, you're actually going to want to be thinking about a Morel and Omicron to counteract that ocean soul if the game gets to that point without just throwing it all. Yeah. Uh, especially because this ocean drake is coming up in 40 seconds, so ocean soul can come out before he completes, you know, Illudens or something like that, and before he has time to get a Merlin Omicron. So as you're saying, he would have had to start building it now. The Rift Herald comes down and it gets a double charge, so at least it gets that, but everything still stands from the point earlier. Trinity Force on set, by the way. Very nice. Viking has the Executioners. Now, will he go for the Titanic Hydra to have the AoE applications on all the members of Dom One? Or attempt to, anyway. Yeah. It's a good question. Keen is just playing with Nuggery up here. On the top side, he's not really concerned about those cues that are being thrown out. A bit of a collapse into the mid lane. These players want to fight, they're getting antsy. And well, Freaka going to start things off nicely here. Bit of damage coming out from Fly. And they're really just trying to set up for this Ocean Drake. Teleport's available on Keen, but Nuggery doesn't have it. So he's thinking about moving over, but this, uh, he's hesitating there. We got the Drake coming down. Should go the way of Dom one as Afrika just decides to give it away. Yeah, this is a very big blunder. If you are Afrika, you could have brought the game to Soul Point very easily. And maybe what they're thinking is that this is potentially one of the closest fights. Perhaps Set wants to continue to scale up a little bit more. Caitlyn maybe wants the second core item. Really nice trade there. Oh, On to Nuggery. <laughs> Look at this, look at this composition when you get ahead. It's so oppressive. Yeah. Olaf really is, is not happy when he gets behind against this. If they're ahead and they're able to Cosmic Radiance and heal him up and he just runs straight at them, sure, he'll, he'll put two thumbs up, say bro, and charge at you. But when he gets behind, this is what it looks like. Well. Four minutes until the next one's going to end up coming up. And honestly, that might be the one light at the end of the tunnel for Dom Juan is if they can somehow go the distance 15 minutes into this game and try to collect every single Ocean Soul. Because then, or Ocean Drake, Ocean Soul plus Soraka plus Tarek, you would have to try to die at that point. You feel like the, <laughs> yeah. you know? I, I don't even know. You'd... The Olaf could, if he sees an enemy, he could just press all his buttons and roll his face on the keyboard. He'd be pretty happy. But right now we are in the middle of a lull state. The lanes are very extended. Some nice lighting effects right there going on in mid lane. The Zoe picks up a Oblivion Orb. And the Oblivion Orb by itself isn't that bad. There's no resistances on the side of Dom Juan, realistically, outside of the Soraka. And so wait for the Sword 10 boot, 33 magic 10. Yep. Aphilios, 30 MR. So True damage. So we dealing true damage to Aphilios. It's important to look at those numbers. There's the Caitlyn and Senna that can do a decent amount. You can trundle with this W, can attack pretty fast. Zoe's not the best, but they can consider it. Spirit looking for something. Tried to pillar that bird out of the sky. Not going to be successful. 6,000 gold lead as we have really, we've really slumped here in the world, say. Yeah. 
This happens sometimes in the games where it's really all about the drakes and one team's pretty far ahead, but they they don't have an option to just push turrets, you know, without a pick. Not without a bear, for sure. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's, uh, that's Zoe's going places. And so is the Azir. Azir is going home. Zoe is going to the ship. That's what we know. Zoe is... Well, maybe they're not going to the ship. That's why they oh. didn't go to the Ocean Drake. True. Barrel is going to be the punching bag. I think that Afrika is trying to go to the sky with the Cloud and Mountain Drake. But not the ship. Okay. Maybe they know something about the ship that we don't. We don't know too much about the ship, except that we're going to it. Yeah, and that you're That's looking at a champ. True. Well, is that related to the ship, or is that a totally different idea? I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to listen to the song a couple more times <laughs> to we really to figure that, it out. We need to get that analysis going on exactly what what he's trying to tell us. Because that will help us in times of need, especially during lull states, when we, when we don't have much to talk about. We need to know the lore of the ship and the chief. Not to the Sky Castle. Do you remember when LCK did that parody segment? Yeah. They did with, the one parody segment yeah. and then that was the only thing. I actually <laughs> wanted so much more. I know! That. I was like, get me in there, I want to act. Yeah, you know? that was really good. Mrs. C? That was Cloud Templar's character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She did you actually great. watch the drama? No, no, but I actually re-watched that skit on YouTube oh, okay. two days ago. <laughs> because I, I thought Good Cloud timing. Templar was fantastic. Yeah, I think they were all great. And I think we should have more stuff like that. As well, Feral, uh, you might die here. He does have Shirelia's. He has to flash that one. And unfortunately, the communication not there as the wish comes through. Either way, he's going to be full health now. And, well, is anyone going to block for him is the question. The answer is no. He's got enough health. He's identified that, that he's like, okay, I can just sustain after taking the big hit. But it looks like they will have to give up the Ocean Drake after Fly dunks on him a couple of times. And it does look like Afrika will be able to pick up this Ocean Dragon. Now, this could have been a soul had they played their cards right. And it does look like, by the way, Keen, bit of a savant, is going Titanic Hydra. Whoa. So, <laughs> Kana yesterday almost got the seal. The seal of approval. The seal of approval, but I think Keen's going to bring it home today. Yeah. I think it's coming home. Okay. Keen is going to win your heart after all these yeah. years. Now, it honestly, if this completes into hysterics, I might just walk off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, he's, he's got a chance. Let's see. He's going to get ping-ponged into. As we, of course, expect here in the LCK. I want to know, actually, how many stacks Senna has right now. That would be very intriguing. Oh, that was so satisfying. I want to see a game go to, like, 60 minutes with Senna in it. That would be hard. Now, imagine if Senna came out during the old days. Oh, man. 2017, 2017. No, how about CLG EU? Oh, well. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah. At this point... When, when did certainly T start making champions? Certainly T is an amazing champion designer. Yes. I've actually said this unironically on the cast before. I love all of his champions. That's why I, I wanted to bring all it up. All of them. Because that's a known fact that yeah. you love Certainly T. Big fan. I was just wondering, like, what was his first champion that he designed? Any idea? I actually don't know. And I'm not, I'm not totally, totally sure. And do you have any idea when the fight's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Script's right in front of you, man. So, uh... Script's not working a long time ago. <laughs> G-Sun sabotaged me. <laughs> Hold on, I'm on G-Sun on the prompter right now. Yeah, I think about to I think tell she's, us. She's going to give us a message. Yeah, she's giving us a message. Hold on. We're on standby. Maybe update on when the fight is coming in. <laughs> And... Processing. <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> she wrote, never mind. It's just NPM. That's it. That's our answer. Oh, okay, no. I guess I guess they lost the script too. Yeah. We're we're just lost, guys. Lost script. And yeah, I mean, as we said before, it's really all about drinks. As Brika don't want to take any chances pushing in to top one, even though they are quite far ahead. Seven thousand gold ahead. They could be looking to siege with Zoe, like just do this. Right? So the back. Yeah. Okay, now do it again. But I suppose they just don't want to take the chance of getting engaged on by an Azir. You know, when Keen's not there, they group up as five, and so as it is in Korea, they'll take the safe path and wait until the Ocean Drake comes up so they can have a, a true setup and a 5v5, perhaps with a flank teleport and stuff like that. Rather than just throwing caution to the wind and trying to dive oh. the tier two. That was pretty insane. Not gonna lock him up there with the silence. Canyon does have to flash. And Set is all alone in the bottom lane, by the way. Ships away at the turret. Gets a nice chunk down. They're finally actually grouping up and attempting to siege with the incredible siege comp that we have. If you place a bunch of traps down, you get Zoe throwing all of her stuff at you. And you take turrets, you push your lead. So finally, they're doing at least that. We do get to see what is going to end up happening at that dragon in 40 seconds. Keen, moment of truth. <sighs> I'm a little Hold bit my nervous. Hand. I'm a little bit Actually, nervous. Actually, don't. No, you have the gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to touch the gloves. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, adaptive hell. Whoa, that's a Papa Smithy. Better go next. <laughs> JPEG, if I've ever seen yeah. one. Oh, man. That oh. does not get me a seal of approval. That absolutely not. He just lost out on the Pog vote. <laughs> <laughs> From he, us. He lost Ellis's boat. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, Barrel. Here we go. It's all about this ocean drink. Finally, we're going to have some action. Trouble Bubble coming down, trying to zone them away. And in on the edge here. And he's really the important guy to look at. It's going to be him trying to get into the pit and Showmaker trying to push them away with the soldiers. The traps are set up on the bottom side, and Tom would say, well, well, we'll try to push in the top side. But the corridor is too small. That's a Showmaker, actually. They have not started the drink at all yet. Oh, boy. Already getting a nice amount of poke down, as the same can be said onto Jelly. He nearly dies to the Drake here. Yeah. And so he's going to have to back off to regen, but here we go. Set from behind. Set looking for a superplex. He's, he does have flash. This could be the moment of truth. Here comes Kurt Angle. Oh, they're trying to pull on a game, but in the back line, the suplex is huge for the Cosmic Radiance. Keeping them alive. Take a look at Nuclear. Cannon in the back line is going to be chipped away as the Drake goes the way of Dom One Gaming. And now Barrel in the front line going to go down as a huge effort to mine by Showmaker in the back line. Dom One Gaming may have turned this game on his head as they get the Drake. And Showmaker's trying to be the Pog once again. Fly all alone down in the bottom side. He Whoa, does pick up the kill. The love shot. At the end. On and there you go. Abilios. The game is not yet over. And so we are going to get another climactic battle. As if, if you want a reason why Soraka exists, take a look at her. Wish comes out. Nuggery being healed up. He is invalidating so much damage throughout the course of this team fight. They end up getting the dragon barrel lives for a very long time Showmaker. and then take a look at Showmaker <laughs> with the showstopper. Shraka, she just doesn't she doesn't die. Yeah. She's, She's um, there the whole time. Yeah. Down to the last bit of her health. Yeah. And you know that pretty much all that health was and put into You can see other that players. fly managed to hit the bubble and because he was within two hundred centimeters, 
of the